Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Monday, May 30th, 2016, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Well, today is Memorial Day, the day that we remember those who paid the ultimate price for our freedoms and for this country. And every single day, we're seeing this battle waging on. It's coming right here to our doorstep. We're seeing little fascist social justice warriors out there trying to shut down free speech, spitting on the American flag, setting it on fire, and taking those freedoms for granted that someone died to give them the right to go out and do that. So we put together a show for you today in the hopes that it'll get every single American out there pissed off enough to join the fight for this country. <laughs> Migration is a human right! Migration is beautiful! Migration is beautiful! Migration is a human right! Trump's a Nazi. How, how, many, how many Jews has Trump killed? Huh? How many Jews has Trump killed? Oh, please. How many Polish gypsies? Oh, please. You stupid Shut up! Shut the fuck up! You know what's good for your health, homie? Trump! Free all the homies! Free El Chapo! The police! Que viva Mexico! Que viva Italia! Donald Trump! Donald Trump! Donald Trump! Donald Trump! Donald Trump! We can mean you break up this assembly. If you do not do so, you may be arrested for subject to the police. Alright, what do you think is going to happen in like five minutes? In like five minutes, there's gonna be pepper spray and riot gear running all through here. I hereby declare this to be an unlawful assembly. And in the name of the people of the state of California, demand all those assembled at fair and Fairview to immediately disperse. Bro, uh, word up, like, dude, he, he said that us Mexicans are bringing all types of bad people to this, to this country? That's incorrect. who have said they will come in with Syrian refugees. He wants to vet those people. That sounds crazy to me. Like Nobody Hitler. Hitler. Sounds, like sounds like Hitler. Our ISIS is right here in America. Right. No doubt about Our it. Our ISIS is right here in America. Okay, so At what are we doing about day, it? If you watch the news, you'll it? see who our ISIS is. What, what are we we doing can't about start with this. What are we doing about ISIS? We can't start with this. What are we doing about ISIS? This is not where the start is. What are we doing about ISIS? ISIS is not in First of all, we have to as what we all do to each other in America. Yes, look at all the fucking... Uh, so then you didn't support the Iraqi war? No, I didn't suck it. Neither did Donald Trump. Yes. Anyone else want to debate why Trump's a bad guy? Or do you just want to spew re rhetoric about racism? Well, he, Anyone? Well, he's, he's already described what he is. We don't have to debate. Do you like Louis Farrakhan? Yes, I do. He endorsed Donald Trump. Said Donald oh, Trump yeah. is... The, yes, he did, sir. I Look it up. I challenge you right yes, now. Louis Farrakhan no, has endorsed no, Donald not. Trump. No, this is what I'm talking about. Day Uninformed. Day I am no, informed. No, he did not. Donald Trump. Is that Jesse Owens? How you doing? Josh Owens, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bet you're in Ferguson. Yeah, I was there. Louis Farrakhan has it. endorsed Donald no, Trump. No, yes, he did. This is 100% wrong. I was. Would you just not at the what last event he, he spoke? Is, were you not there? Donald Trump is the, the only candidate, candidate that has not taken money from those who keep us in the situation. He has said that. And he also has endorsed Donald Trump. He is the best candidate to take.
take America to hell. He said he endorsed Donald Trump, is what he said. Well, and you said he I'm didn't do that. I just see You were just speech. where? I know, I know it's Savior's Day. It's a, it's a big Muslim event. And what did Farrakhan say that? He didn't say he endorsed Trump. I knew that much. But he has endorsed Donald Trump. I haven't heard that endorsement. Well, I'm giving you that news right now, and you just reject it. It's not credible. I don't, I don't think It's not know. credible. On record, on record, folks. On record. What? Live streaming? Louis, in an interview, a sit-down interview with a cameraman, with an interview. Interviewer, it's had millions of views. Okay, and just because you haven't seen something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Any other points against Trump? Anyone else want to debate me on Trump? This is too easy. Didn't think so. Didn't think Let's so. Let's bring it back to black people being killed by police. Okay. What has Trump said about that? What about white people being killed by police? Fuck off. Black people. That's not racist though. No. Fuck off if a white guy's killed by a policeman. Only a black life matters. We already know that white people. That, that's not a fucking issue compared to the black people that are gunned down every single day by police. Gunned down every single day by yes. police. Yes. You don't think that's built up by the mainstream media at all? It's no. built it's built up in bodies, bro. Let me ask you a question. Why aren't you guys, why aren't, hold on, why aren't you guys in Chicago where black people are killing black people? Why aren't you guys outside of Planned Parenthood where black people are aborted by millions every year? What have you done to benefit this planet? What yeah, I no, 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 no. I'm trying to awaken people. I'm trying to save freedom in the West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're trying to make America great right. again. When was America great? What are you talking about? At what point were, are you talking about? Well, let me tell you something. I'm 26 years old. In, what point in history are you talking about? Where I'm 26 years old, and in my life, I have seen a system of crony capitalism. I've never seen true capitalism. Maybe it will work, maybe it won't. But if we look at a case study of socialism and communism, it fails every time. Every time, and millions of people die. I need, okay, Mao Zedong, one of the biggest communists ever, murdered people in the streets. Hitler not remind you of that? Does Trump not remind you of that? No, explain to me how Trump is like Hitler. Mass deportion. This would be shorter if we mass deportion. So obey the law. Donald Trump wants to obey the laws on immigration. Donald Trump wants to. This country was founded on immigration. Illegal immigration. People who came here legally. Where does it start? Because we're all. Where do you draw the line? So let's do it. So we're just going to, because something's happened in history, we can't make things better now. We can't live in reality. Oh, because illegal immigrants may have came here. Oh, because the Ku Klux Klan used to have reign in this country. We can't move forward. We can't move forward and act like people can be unified. Trump, black people and white people can't be unified for Trump. That's Trump, 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 Trump refuses to denounce the KKK. He 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 refuses to denounce the KKK. You can't get it no real than me. And if you go have the audacity to sit up here and say you believe in Donald Trump in 2016, you are flat out racist. And anybody in that damn racist. line, you damn right. You don't even know why. You know why? why? You know 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 why? You know
16. So when you're dealing with people like this, attacking you with low-level rhetoric and zero information, don't take it personally. When Trump wins in the polls, that's the minority, uh, that's the majority speaking. We've been silent. We're not silent anymore. Donald Trump has people lying around the block of every race, color, creed, and age. No other candidate has that. Because he's an idiot, she says. Let's hear what you don't like about Trump, ma'am. What don't you like about Donald Trump? Have you been mad trying to speak the truth? That means the truth hurts that damn time. To be the president, just because he has money doesn't mean he can be president. All right, who does have the qualifications? If you support them, Bernie Sanders didn't have a job until he was 40. Francis does not support Donald Trump. Ferguson does not support Donald Trump. Who does Ferguson, Ferguson does support? support Donald Trump. Do you speak for Ferguson? You damn right, and I'm out here. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Do you live in Ferguson? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 63135, you want my address? You want to see my ID? No, I, I didn't and I live in damn well for 15 years. Yes, you do. All my kids went to school, graduated. So, so what do you think? So let me ask you a question, sir. Got good job. Then what Got happened? Got good job. Tell me. I ain't no criminal. Can you tell me what happened Francis in Ferguson? What happened in Ferguson? Now they got exposed. This is guys started all to begin with. Who got exposed? The true racist people. Okay, so so you're saying that the problem in Ferguson wasn't the mainstream media blowing up a false narrative. No, it was the militarization of police. You can tell you are pure white, and I say that you have never experienced racism in a day in your life. You have never. I'm experiencing racism right now. I'm experiencing racism right now. Discounting my opinion. The white guys are right. Oh my God, the white guys are right. Are you, you not? The truth. Hey, bro, I'm black. Completely. Like, hey, you can't so tell me. I'm white. Only one way. Tell so I'm white. You can't tell me. Why can't we go on the same thing? What America has done to me, but I don't oh, let it stop me or deter me. So who's what president candidate is going to help you out? I know that. But you chose you. I vote for Hillary, and I'm going to Hillary Clinton, a known liar. Hillary Clinton, a known liar. Bernie Sanders, a known liar. That's going to be the tip. 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 That's going to
you do that to that white guy? Why you do that to one of them black guys? Why they do that to me? You know what? Why they touch me? Cause you know I would have fucked you up. I didn't need to be put you in a hole. Here we go. No, why you talk. touch him? You went out. You went for the weak link. You thought he was a weak link. He just want to yell and yell and yell. You thought he was a weak link. Hugs are the fucking future. And so you gonna try to go after him? Guess what? I got his back. You have no You fuck with him. You fuck with him. You fuck with him. You touch him. You touch me. I don't want Trump to have to Bernie Sanders has to be nothing. Put your hands on me. Put your hands on me. Why you ain't touch one of the black guys? Touch one of these real frontline protesters. Put your hands on me. Put your fucking hands on me. I'm a real frontline protester. I think you took the brakes on that. You got right. damn right. All right. Real recognize real. 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 Real Yes. Why is that a thousand dollars? Right. Hey, but that's not fair to ask New Jersey. Why is that? Because that's the people who graduated from college. Make America love again. All star in debt. But why is that? 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 But why you know why? Education I will tell you why. Because they made federal loans available to students. The colleges said, oh, there's that money. We'll I went to college for four years, graduated from the University of Wisconsin. It cost my parents $12,000. That's how many years ago was that? You don't mean to bring your How many years ago was that? Every year. Congratulations, I own $50,000. But that's still not right. That there's a lot of grants that people can take advantage of today in scholarship opportunities where they don't have any money. But they're still in debt because that's being taken away from university, taken away from budget. Why are our elementary school teachers who are helping shape our future tomorrow being paid? There are so many unemployed teachers, the wages have gone down. Simple supply and demand. Now, if you're a nuclear physicist or you're a brain surgeon like, who's the brain surgeon guy? Dr. Carson. Carson. I'll bet he makes a million and a half dollars a year because they're rare. New Jersey and him paying back however much they're paying back. That's what taken away from us New Jersey residents. I was born and raised.
Wait here. a second. I give back to my community. I do everything. I take care, and Chris Christie does not take care of the drug and alcohol epidemic that's going on in the state of New Jersey. Okay? Whatever you're getting, it's whatever. Some of these things all because of private insurance, which goes back to corporate greed, okay? What happens to the people that need help? You guys worry about the homeless people, but where are you guys giving their help to? Where's that money going? Where's that money going back to these people that we can help today? Well, I will tell you this. Anybody who takes drugs is a stupid fool. Well, that's right. That's not right. No, no, I've never no. taken I mean, a drug you know a day of my life. I have the, the not people too who many take drugs, that use drugs every are single are day. Addicts, okay? like, well, I've never had any of type of drugs. You know, people <laughs> take drugs the same way they drink alcohol. You know, it, it's, it's, it's not really a big problem. It's not. That's... I'm, I'm, I'm American. I, I was born right here in the, in the United States. You didn't take your pills this morning. You have some English accent with you. Yes, I, I, I do. Maybe I'm, 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 I'm sorry if it... If it no, so what's wrong with having an accent? No, no, no. I, like I said, she's born here, my what I have to say. Why, why is there a problem with the other aspect? I think it's great. Uh, really? Yeah. No, I know. Very great. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Hip, hip, hip and all but that. You gotta have that. money in order. Donald in order to help yourself as a drug addict, you have to have money. You have to come from money. Okay? So you buy you drugs, you have to have money. No, you do. No, you How much are they? <laughs> There's like $5. There's $5 bag. There's $5 bag. Okay? $5 bag. Okay? $5 bag. Okay? $5 bag. 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 $5 
the, the second or third largest economy in the world. You know, our currency system is the world's currency system. You can ha have this man in charge of all that. And give him the option to pick a Supreme Court justice? Oh, my God, no way. Whew. All right, so if we're going to get specific, just specifically his policies, his ideas, what do you like, dislike the most? Um, I think it's a divider. You know, this is the United States of America. You know, and we're not, uh, you know, I admit, we're not quite as united as we should be, but putting Donald Trump in charge of America would be divisive. It would be dividing the United States. So, you know, the, the DNC is close by in Philly. Um, oh, I'm going. Yeah. I'm going. I, went, I, I went to the Republican uh, convention in, in 2000, and I didn't think I'd ever see a convention come to Philly again. So this is great. It's a Democratic convention, and I think it's going to be a lot of turmoil. I am a burning for Bernie guy. You know, I believe in Bernie's message, and I'm sorry Hillary lost me. Her, her, her adherence to, to Bill Clinton's uh, 1995 crime bill, 1993 crime bill. You know, super predators. You know, we talk about Harry Anzinger, Richard Nixon, but you know what? The greatest uh, uh, increase in prison population actually occurred under Bill Clinton's watch. And she was down with it. She can't unsign her name or divorce herself from that political issue. She never even divorced him. She can't divorce herself from his political policies. You know, and she is strapped to the 1993 crime bill. You know, where us, us so-called super predators were residing. <laughs> and oh my god I can go on and on and on about the war on drugs and how Bill Clinton's policies helped it she's strapped to it Jakari Jackson reporting from Albuquerque, New Mexico, outside of the Trump rally. Trump is set to speak in about an hour from now. Uh, but as you can see right now, there's a large group of anti-Trump demonstrators. Let's go ahead and take a walk down here and see if maybe we can uh, get a word with a few of the folks who came out here. Uh, now, this is the anti-Trump side. There is a pro-Trump side, which is back that way. We'll try to get over there in just a little bit. Let's get a little bit closer here and see if we can take a look at some of the signs. So this guy has a very sensational sign. Sir, do you mind if I ask you what brought you out here today? Um, the First Amendment right to protest. All right, we'll take a look at your shirt and uh, at your sign here. So you got the F Trump shirt and also Trump for KKK or KKK for Trump. Uh, what is what is your beef with Donald Trump? Well, number one, I think he's a manifestation of the media. I mean, we have a reality star that's being, that's uh, running for president. I mean, who's next, Kim Kardashian or Justin Bieber? That's pathetic. I mean, it really is. And I mean, he, he says anything just to pander to any crowd. So he's, he's at Liberty University and he quotes Corinthians 2 or whatever, you know? So, I mean. As far as policy, what's his policies that you can't get with? Um, well, I know that he'd revert back to the essence of tax cuts. Okay, for the wealthiest, um, cutting trade embargoes, um, you know, ma shipping out jobs. I mean, he says he's for American jobs, but all of his clothes that's made is made in China. So he's a hypocrite when it comes to that standpoint, you know, so. All right. Anything else? Oh, no. Uh, there's plenty of other things. His xenophobia, his racism, overt racism, and not being able to walk away from uh, Donald, uh, I mean, from uh, David Duke or any other white supremacist that endorse him, you know. You know, so I mean, and the violence that's taking place at his at his rallies, you know. So, sir, I'm, I will challenge you on that point. We've seen people like Hillary be endorsed by uh, Klan members as well. I, mean, I, I agree with that. Th those are just trolls. I mean, really. I mean, okay. So look at okay. So if you look at the the, the history of because I teach history. Okay. So conservatives oppose the Declaration of Independence because they don't want to give up their power. Okay. Oh
Donald Trump. Uh, so, but uh, you look at the civil rights area, who was opposed to it? Conservatives. Who opposed to free and slavery? Conservatives. Who was opposed to allowing women to vote? Conservatives. Okay. So paying for, uh, you know, public education. They try to dismantle public education. I'm a public school and public education teacher, and they're constantly trying to dismantle it. They've tried the idea of vouchers. Now they have charter schools. All it does is hurt education. I mean, it's, they go, and I teach this in my world history class. It's, it's the movie Bugs Life. It's the ants versus the grasshoppers. The problem is, is you get people to think that they're grasshoppers, but they're really ants. Okay. And I, I, I like some of the things that you guys do on InfoWars, but I think some of it can be a little bit lunacy, you know, so I, I listen to some of the things that you do and I, and I have believe, I'm, I believe a lot of the things, but when it comes, when in, at the end of the day, Hillary's going to appoint a Supreme Court justice, possibly up to four, that's better for America, better for workers, better for my son, better for the air that they, that they breathe, the water that they drink. Okay, so that in, in the end, okay, yes, President Obama's gone, but he appointed two Supreme Court justices. He's going to recess appoint a third to protect Hillary. He really is. So, I mean, so. <laughs>
but they're domestic here. They're bringing domestic terrorism to us. We're all Americans. We have the free to stand where we please. We're not sheep. We're not slaves. Oh, my bad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, you know, we're supposed to stand. Look at what they're trying to do. They're trying to force us on our knees. American was founded on revolution. We're founded on immigrants. George Washington, we should take example. Abraham Lincoln, Patton, they fought for this country, didn't they? Didn't they do any good? We must stand. We stand united. And I'm not sure how, if at all, the anti-Trump demonstrators helped their cause tonight. I'm by no means a Donald Trump supporter, but I advise to watch a video of people yelling and cussing at old women and little kids. Uh, I, that's not somebody I would want to team up with. Just, just vile rhetoric. And people talk about Donald Trump's racism. And yeah, he said a bunch of controversial stuff, but I've seen people just say the most hateful things, um, whether it's uh, Hispanic to Hispanic, or white to white, uh, whatever else just attacking people on their physical appearance just you know all manner of childishness you know like being in a 13 year old or a 13 year old uh lunch room with a bunch of kids you know that's pretty much how it was and i have to say i did not see any donald trump supporters acting vile or vicious everybody i talked to was very polite even if i didn't agree with all their policies uh they could explain why they felt that way in a very eloquent manner. And I found some uh, anti-Trump people that could do so as well, but the number of Trump people that could speak their mind eloquently was much higher than the people I spoke to who opposed Donald Trump. They just yelled and cursed and, you know, F this and, you know, you do that with your mother, all that kind of stuff. It's a little crazy, but this is what happens when Donald Trump comes to a Latin nation. But also, we're in New Mexico, so let's get this straight. We're not in Mexico. We're New Mexico. We're above Mexico. InfoWars. Hey, how's it going, man? All right, they're pushing down the barriers now and running over. Running past. Here it goes. They've broken open the barrier and they're going inside. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, they just said they were going to be arrested. Got people being triggered. Everybody go. So there's a mass of people up at the front. There he goes. Looks like they're coming walk forward, forward now. Right Let's now. walk forward! Push! So they're at the front right now. You can see them. So they massed around there. Nobody's gotten into the hotel yet. The police are, people are listening to the police at this point, half of them. Here it is, looks like they are storming the gates at this point. Hey, um, I'm with the media. I don't want to get a um, pass. Not a pass to get inside, but you got to stay here? Okay. Oh! Fuck off! 
somebody pushes me into you, just don't knock me in the face. <laughs> so the cops have pushed him back now from the front entrance. They pushed some people down. They're using their billy uh, cords. They're throwing eggs now. I've seen a few eggs being thrown. People are going through the hedgerows right now. They're pulling back. They're throwing eggs and they're pushing the protesters back at this time now. You can see they're pushing them back in back into the street.